Why should I have to listen to you? Because you have I to have listen feelings to too. me. I know you have li I know you have feelings, but I'm the adult. And I'm not gonna tell you nothing wrong, honey. You you, you cannot expect me to sit there, listen to you talk, and that's it. That's done. No, I'll give you your chance to talk. And when I talk, you over talk me and change it to how you feel. Okay. Do you feel All like right. that ever happens? The pre deposition of the trouble team, the paradox of the trouble team. So I was over at 3 a.m. watching the Boondocks, right? This episode struck with me. This episode right here got my attention, and I love the message that it portrayed. Riley, who is portrayed as a troubled teen, have an art. His art is expressing his art towards the world. Now, yes, he do it in a crime-like way, because vandalism is a crime, but his heart is in the right place, because he don't know that vandalism is a crime. I don't expect him to. He is eight. And this man right here, who didn't criminalize him because living by his rats and he thought he would criminalize him he didn't he actually took him under his wing and it's caught Riley by surprise and something I love about this you see this in real life these boys right here are trying to sell water they are entrepreneurs they just trying to make money that's all they trying to do yes some of them be a little aggressive but that's the way the community raise them that's how they know how to express you're the bad guy but a white man told me to do it Wait a minute, what white man? What did he look like? White? I just assumed he was in charge. Why? And just what did this white man look like? He had a... Who do I look like? Snitchy McGrath? I don't talk to police. Boy, you better work your mouth. If you're gonna take me to jail, then take me to jail. Mm. Had seen who shot you, mm. would you have told police? No. Why? Because the type of business I'm in, it would definitely hurt my business. And the way that I was raised, I just don't do that. I was raised differently not to tell. So we see how no snitching molded our youth and it affect our community. And parents don't like it. But I want y'all to pay attention to this clip right here and look how granddad handled it. And while y'all look at granddad, listen to what Huey says as Riley is getting punished. They was tripping. What we got to eat? We all know that the images we see can elicit strong emotional reactions. But I've always wondered, can the images we see do more than hurt us emotionally? Is it possible to see something so bad that it actually hurts you physically? Talk, she don't never give me a damn chance to talk. That's why I slept out of her when we was in the damn car. Okay. Cause she kept running her mouth. Now I'll show y'all this clip right here and I'll show y'all this grandma and this girl again for this reason right here. That girl, y'all, is an honorable student and she do everything good, but her grandma still curse her out, still belittle her, still castrate her, still humiliate her. She doing this on live television, so imagine what she doing behind closed doors. So I'm saying that to say this, right? Violence towards the quote-unquote troubled teens because they have goals and they have gifts is doing nothing but hurting them. But the parents think it is helping them because when they was younger, that what their parents did is nothing but a cycle. We have to break it. To teach Riley a lesson, granddad book, a consolation with Mr. Boss. And I want y'all to pay attention to how Mr. Boss interact with Riley, y'all. I really love this, y'all. Pay attention. I'm going to break it on. Go. I just got to draw one thing. Anything you want. <laughs> Have fun. Cool. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. <laughs> You're free to go. What's funny? Nothing, nothing at all. I'll call your granddad and tell him you're walking home. I wasn't really trying. I could do better if I wanted. Oh, I'm sure. Hey! You ain't have to ball it up and throw it in the trash. You know what? That's disrespectful. Your mama should have raised you better. <laughs> I wasn't even really trying. 
one thing I love for a fact that he knows Riley is not a bad kid. He's in need of affection. Whatever Riley did, whatever Riley drew, he accepted it. It don't matter how short of a time he took, how long of a time he took. It don't matter how in depth it was or how shallow it was. He still was going to take it. And he probably did the same as that thing just to make him think and think deep to let him know that, bro, bro, you matters, bro. Your art is amazing. Your art is you. Your art is your emotion. Go within and then show the whole world what you're capable of. Throw this away. Hey, man, that was good. Yes, but you didn't draw this. Yes, I did. I don't think you did. Uh, yeah, then who drew it? I did. You got this off my website. Now, I bet you can sit down and draw something even better than this. Let's try. Um, I don't feel like it. Well, then just do it real quick like before. Oh, I get it. Is that how you get your kicks? You get little kids to draw stuff when they ain't even really trying that hard just so you can laugh? You sick. Finished? No, man. Damn, stop sweating me. I mean, can I draw? Can I put the damn lines on the pages, please? Please? You sure can. I'm sorry for interrupting. I think it's time to move to a bigger canvas. Yeah. I showed this scene right here just to show y'all that just be patient. Just let them just express their feelings. You see how he didn't say anything at all. He didn't care about Riley using profanity. He just let him just express what came out of his chest. And he gave him all the space he needed to draw. And he made an amazing masterpiece. That quick. Wow. You pretty cool. So. Do you know what you want to paint? The difference between good artists and great artists is not how well they paint, but what they choose to paint. I want to paint Scarface shooting it like 15 Colombian drug lords with bitches. That sounds really violent. I don't like violent things. You should take people by surprise and do something they wouldn't expect you to do. This part right here is really my favorite part of the whole episode. Expect the unexpected. People expect you to do that. They expect you to show violence. They expect you to show vulgar. Show them something different. Amaze them. Wow them. And the slippery slope of the whole situation is you wow them. You amaze them. But you still can't change because a quote unquote image and the quote unquote perception they have of you, they already got it made up in their own mind. You can't even change. Get over here now. What's going on here? What did you do? I painted this. You painted this? Yeah, right. And I suppose Gary Coleman painted the Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I painted it too. <laughs> Me too. What did I tell you about lying? Come here. You've been looking at too much television. Stop lying so much. Now that, in my expert opinion, is an ass whooping. You better start looking at Don't Swim. So this is how cycles become repeated. Because once you wow and amaze them, people still got in the back of their mind, do you still have the same propensity that you will do the same quote-unquote trouble things that they have made up in their mind and put that personality on you. He's doing it, isn't he? Well, why can't I paint it the walls? Why can't I be a talented artist? Boy, you ain't even a talented vandal. Most people who hear that, they would either accept that claim or refute that claim. And Riley and most trouble, quote unquote, trouble teens will do, they will refute that claim and say, oh, nah, I'm gonna prove you wrong, that is not correct. So on Riley's journey to demonstrate towards his grandda that he is talented, Riley display an exposition towards his grandda. And y'all, this scene right here is just beautiful and loving. I don't even have nothing else to say, y'all. Just watch the scene.
Let's paint a picture of someone you love. Maybe someone who's not with us anymore. Thanks, man. Thank you, Riley. I had a great time painting with you. Now you keep on painting, and God bless. It's so beautiful. Thank you, boy. <laughs>